So before I say goodbye to my old camera, well, three years ago, let's finish off with a review. I used to record my videos on it, and you can guess the quality is 480p, and it's horrible quality. Uh, you won't expect much from the three-year-old camera, because I got this, because I got, sorry, this camera, and the camera I'm using right now. The mystery camera I'm using, okay. So let's start off right here, the box itself, okay. The box is really simple, didn't give much, um... I have the specs down there. I'm just gonna read it out if you can't read it. I guess you can read it. No, you can't read it. Okay, 7.1 megapixel 3 optical zoom and 2.5 inch screen. And uh, it's compatible with Vist Windows, Vista 7, XP 98, and Mac. And uh, it supposedly works with QuickTime. Right there. Alright, so let's get out the camera itself. I'll start off with the looks of the camera. The camera here is a matte aluminum. Really nice. And then let's look to it around the, the camera itself. On the top we have the on but the on off button and the zoom button. On the side we have the AV out slash uh what's that button? Uh micro S micro USB slot, I guess. Right here in the bottom we have the battery, which is a three point seven volt battery with a 760 amp milliamp hour battery it is lithium ion by the way lithium ion again and has the SD card in there right there just pop it in inside of it really simple is that okay let's no, no, let's talk about some of the features or something special about it nothing really special it came out three years ago and two years or three years is a big 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 long time in the tech world but uh, I'm just going to show you some of the uh, features in the UI. I'm not going to really tell much about the UI. I'm just going to tell my opinions about it. So you have a really just pretty much a lot of presets. Um, not really custom. And uh, it's really basic camera. It took me about a day to learn how to use this. Really simple. Oops, sorry. In the middle here, we have the video button. We can record videos. In the bottom here. Oh, holy shit. Delete this one? Okay. In the in the bottom here we have the um if you move this to the bottom we have the picture view which I've done photos on my SD card right now because I never use this camera anymore these buttons here ISO and uh, flash um, self timer and well all these buttons digital Marco uh, menu display button delete button page button sorry um, print set button and uh, timer type button and you have a speaker right there and the microphone supposedly your speaker is really good have to say and uh, of course you have the a uh, what's that called game you have the tripod dock now let me give my opinions if you haven't seen my old videos um, check it out those are uh, video quality of this and it's not too bad I mean it's really old but uh, as you see I switched to this camera so Think, you know, take them some time to get used to. Um, so the camera here is really basic. Um, doesn't take much to learn it. But uh, I have things to mention. If you're gonna buy this, I found you know one of these cam the camera itself here sold on eBay for about eighty bucks, and I would say don't get it. Don't absolutely don't. It horrible. Okay, don't get it. I don't recommend it. Get the if you're looking for some, you know, start off with a video, simple video, go to the Flip Ultra or Mini, they're about $100 or more, a bit more, not, not 200 of course. And that will give you way better quality. If you search around for the Flip, there will be maybe, like, up to a two-digit price that you see in the MKBHD, MKBHD video, he talked about that, the cameras. Anyways, so, um, the next, thanks for watching this video, do I recommend this? No picture quality is horrible, no autofocus, so I don't recommend this at all. Um, and it's, and one thing I had to mention really bad about this is bad lighting situations. It has really bad lighting. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. In the next video, we'll be talking about rumors on the T3i or the Slash 600D camera, supposedly coming out this February. Stay tuned for more information about the camera the sequel to the T2i.